and he has got more goals than nine Premier League clubs this season. He got another hat trick this time against Wolves. We put out a question yesterday as to whether he's on his way to becoming the best striker ever in the Premier League. And I know there have been some reservations, not towards the player from you, Yanish. We we know what he offers, but uh, uh, how he can affect the way that the team play. What do you think? I, I said it. It's a little bit different. There's no coincidence that Manchester City as a whole. And look, again, again, that's not his problem. His job is to score goals. And he does that in such a way that I, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. I, I really didn't. I mean, this is what he's doing is unbelievable. 25. Goals. I mean, you got, I remember our first show. You asked me, I think, I don't know if it was 40 or 45. I kept putting it off. And I think I was nice to you saying, no, whatever I said, because, you know, I try to be nice, but I thought you were crazy. Um, but look, here we are. And I think you're going to be right. Um, I mean, uh, he's, I think he's going to get to 40. Uh, you know, I don't know how. But, but you know, 25 goals in how many games you said? 18, 19? Uh, I mean. I think, yeah, 19 games, right? I mean, think about that. And there's still five points, possibly, possibly eight points behind. I mean, that's, that to me seems crazy. And maybe it's an explicable ball, maybe. How do you figure a club like Manchester City that was doing fine without him, was winning Premier League in, in tremendous style, now has a goal scorer that scores 25 goals already this season. We're barely over halfway and still somehow, you know, but again, that's not his problem. You look at João Cancelo, loss of form. Look at Bernardo Silva, loss of form, right? You look at De Bruyne even from, from time to time. I mean, their issue, you look at, you know, five, six central defenders who are in or out which doesn't help any team, right? Because that's one partnership that I always felt that should be constant, right? And you can rotate them, but should be constant. You know, John Stones, uh, uh, remember, he was playing tremendously for England and uh, Manchester City got injured at a wrong time. So, so there's something to it, but I'm, you know, I don't know if I'm willing to put it down to just Holland, but I mean, when you watch Manchester City now and you watch them before, clearly it's a different way of playing. He's just a different player as well, isn't he, Yanish? Have you ever seen anything like him? Because it's, I mean, we say it because we're getting used to him scoring, but, you know, 25 goals is usually enough for a, a striker to win top scorer of the season in most leagues. I remember when Ruud van Nistelrooy came to Real Madrid. I think it was 25 goals he scored in his first season and he finished his Pachichi and that was amazing. It's 25 goals already. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's hard to compare him. I, I guess we should know. When was that? When he scored like 13 goals? Was it under 17 or something like that World Cup? I remember. My goodness, why did he score so, you know, he should have some mercy. Uh, but maybe that was the first indication of, of the, you know, how special he was. It was. It just we didn't allow ourselves to, uh, to think that way because the player was so young and probably not many people watched that game anyway. Uh, but you know, I mean, he's got a combination of ever, everything, and and obviously he's proved, you know, he's proven already uh, in, in Germany that he's a goal scorer. This is not like out of nowhere he starts scoring goals. He's got pace, he's got size. Uh, you know, he looks to have the character, right? I mean, looks a lot more mature than you should be, right? Physically, and 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 the beauty is that when I watch him, you know, that smile on the face, I think, is genuine. Right. And even if he forces it, that's OK. I like that. Right. Um, he doesn't seem to me he, that he feels pressure. And that's that's the most amazing and mo most important point in any sport for me, that if you know you're good, show that you're good. And if you feel pressure too often than not, then you can't be playing at that level. It just won't work. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.